What's going on guys? It's your boy Javon from JVTV Reacts and today we're going to be reacting to some comedy. Alright, I'm going to be reacting to Dave Chappelle. I haven't reacted to him in months, uh, but today I'm finally going to be checking out the Chappelle show. Um, I've heard of the show, but I haven't seen any of the episodes before. And uh, I wanted to check it out, man, because people are like, this is how Dave Chappelle became Dave Chappelle. You know, it was a Chappelle show and then he went to stand-up. So um, the episode that we're going to be reacting to is called Clinton Bixby, the words only black white supremacist. <laughs> when I saw that title, I'm like, uh, this looks interesting. I have to check this out. So uh, you guys already know, man. I got the video pulled up. Um, I'm put these headphones on. And while I do that, you guys can read this warning. It's a warning for viewers sensitive, sensitive to issues of race. Be advised that the following piece contains gratuitous use of the N-word. So if you're easily offended, um... Don't watch this, you know, this is for us to laugh and have a good time. Well, whether you're black, white, red, whatever. So yeah, let's check it out. Warning, for viewers sensitive to issues of race, be advised that the following piece contains gratuitous use of the N-word. And by N-word, I mean nigger. There, I said it. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. We're for a ride with this one. For the last 15 years, a man named Clayton Bigsby has been the leading voice of the white supremacist movement in America. Though not sold in any major bookstores, his books Dump Truck, Nigger Stain, I Smell Nigger, and Nigger Book have sold over 600,000 copies combined. Despite his popularity, very few have ever seen him due to his reclusiveness. But in an effort to bring his message to a wider audience, he agreed to give his first public interview ever to Frontline. But getting to Mr. Bixby was an odyssey in itself, riddled with backcountry hollers, shifty go-betweens, and palpable danger. Wow. Uh, excuse me, not sure we're in the right place. We're looking for Clayton Bixby. Look no further, fella. You found me. <laughs> uh, Clayton Bigsby, the author? What, you don't think I can write them books? Just because I'm blind don't mean I'm dumb. How could this have happened? A black white supremacist. Black Our search for answers led us here to the Wexler Home for the Blind, where Mr. Bigsby spent the first 19 years of his life. Bridget Wexler is the home's headmistress. Well, he was the only Negro we'd ever had around here, so we figured we'd make it easier on Clayton by just telling him and all the other blind kids that he was white. And he never questioned it. He thinks he's white. Why would he? You've written four books now. I've written six books. They published four. What would you say is the overall message of your books? Sir, my message is simple. Naggers, Jews, homosexuals, Mexicans, Arabs, and all kinds of different chanks stink, and I hate it. I noticed you referred to uh, African Americans. What exactly is your problem? How much time you got, buddy? Where would I start? Well, first of all, they're lazy, good-for-nothing tricksters crack smoking swindlers, big butt having, wide nose breathing all the white man's air. They eat up all the chicken, they think they're the best dancers, and they stink. Did I mention that before? Oh, wow. Uh, yes, I believe you did, sir. It's so funny that he can't even see, but yet still that's what he's probably being told, so that's what he believes, man. It's crazy, but hey, let's get back to this. Matter of fact, my friend Jasper told me one of them coons came by his house to pick his sister up for you a see date. What I mean? He said, Look here, nigger. That <laughs> there's my girl. Anyone has sex with my sister, it's gonna be me. <laughs> You've never left this Whoa. property, have you, Mr. Bigsby? No, sir, not in many years. Whoa. What if this I were to wild. tell you that you are an African American? Sir! Listen, I'm gonna make this clear. I'm in no way, shape, or form involved in any negrum. You understand? Yes, sir, but... Uh, but, but nothing. Mr. Now, <laughs> if you'll excuse me, 
I have a book signing to go to. Why don't you bring your media cameras over there if you want to see some real truth? Hmm. Prudence! Prudence, half Jasper load the truck! <laughs> and Clayton Bixby, wow. black white supremacist, He's ventured out into an like unsuspecting world. Well. So, you're a friend. Why not tell him he's African-American? Listen, man, he's too important to the movement. But tell him he's black, you probably kill yourself. Just to be one less nigger around. <laughs> His commitment is that deep. Oh I'm overwhelmed God. by the irony. Hey, donkey boy. Uh-oh. What you lost, boy? Come on, come on. boy. We don't like your kind around here. You better get out of here before some bad happens. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Tell that nigger! Be a dirty nigger! Come on, Clay. We, 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 gotta, we gotta go. Oh, damn. There's a nigger around here. That dirty monkey was beating my hood. <laughs> Five power! Nigger! The confusion did not end oh, there. No. Hey! Why don't you jungle buddy turn that music down? <laughs> Neighbors make me sick. Look at Boogie, nigger. Look at Boogie. Did he just call us niggers? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the anticipation was at a fever pitch as we arrived at Mr. Bigsby's book signing. The man who should be the next president of the United States. Yes. All right, Jez, for time to show these people what white power is all about. You, you better put your hood on, Clayton. All right. Might want to might wanna hide your identity to be safer, you know, in case some radical ain't sympathetic to the cause wants to shoot you. Yeah, that's good thinking. All right. Here, let me get that. Who made us proud? They could be mad when they find out that he's black. None other than Clayton Bigsby. That's it. was a target as well. Let's talk about Chinese people with their kung fu and all that silly chang chang chong talk. I can't understand you. Go back to your country, white power. Mr. Big B was also critical of the entertainment industry. Don't let the liberal media tell you how to think and feel. If you have hate in your heart, let it out. If you don't like Will and Grace, that don't mean there's something wrong with you. It means there's something wrong with Will. He's homosexual. Politicians weren't spared either. Oh White power. Nobody's spared, man. Holy He's going after everybody. Conalangus rice. Conalangus rice sounds like a Mexican dish. Maybe we should put her on a plate and send her to Mexico so the Mexicans will eat her. White power. <laughs> Just open up your heart and let that hate out. Yeah. 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 Watch your face. We want to see your face. Yeah. Who said that? You want to see my face? Clayton, go on, brother. Go on, bro. Go on. Face? I want to see their reaction. Don't be afraid, Jasper. I'm like waiting to see their reaction because I know that everybody's going to be like, I think out of A, they're going to, everybody's going to run out. Two, everybody's going to stream and try to attack him or C, people going to be like, that ain't him. Like, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Who's this nigga? We're talking about this. Don't be afraid! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? There is cookie and punch for us to enjoy and we can make. Talk about white brotherhood. <laughs> Thank y'all for coming. White power! <laughs> Mr. Bigsby was not harmed that night, but irreparable damage has been done to his reputation and in many ways the white power movement. We're told 
that in the last few weeks he has accepted the fact that he is a black man. And three days ago, he filed for divorce from his wife. When we asked why, after 19 years of marriage, he responded, because she's a nigger lover. Oh, I'm Kent Wallace. Yeah. Good night. Funding for Frontline provided by the Trent Plot Foundation for Peace and Understanding. Hey guys, I'll be honest with you, man. Hey, I wasn't. I didn't know it was gonna be like this. Like going into this, I, I, I didn't even know, man. I, I definitely wasn't expecting this. You know, uh, they had the warning, the warning in the beginning, but the, not even the warning prepared me for this this skit right here. You know, uh, they seem to touch on like different issues and make like light on it. You know, take something that's like serious and make it so that we could like you know bring like some type of joy in it through laughter. Um, even though it is a serious serious issue, they're able to just like. It's kind of like what Saturday Night, Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live did with that last thing I reacted to. Um, Dave Chappelle, he did the same thing here, you know. Um, take like those serious issues and make like make it, make it something funny that everybody, no matter like all races, could come together and laugh at it and you know, have a good time with it. Um, wow! If this is the first episode in the series, like I want to see other episodes too, see if it's this wild, this crazy, this intense. But uh, overall, man, I enjoy this one. Dave Chappelle, like, that man stayed in character, like, the entire time. I, I don't even know how. Uh, that's that's impressive. Uh, but you guys, let me hear your thoughts on this down below in the comment section. If you'd like to see more Chappelle Show reactions, just let me know down below. And if this is your first time here, make sure you guys subscribe, hit that notification bell, like and share this video, follow me on my social media pages. You guys already know the deal. And I'll catch you guys in the next reaction. It's been your boy, JVTV Reacts. Peace. Essa daqui é pique, hein?